cheese. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome to today's video. The time has finally come once again, that time to leave Dubai, to go back to Europe and to do a little bit of traveling. Usually it's around about May when it gets humid, it gets hot, it gets so hot to the point that your eyeballs start to burn. That's usually when I'm out and I'll call it a day. So I'm gonna wrap up a few things, pack my bags, put some stuff in storage, say my goodbyes, first things first, need to get the last session in. We're doing a shoulder workout with the one, the only, Andrew Jack. Let's go. I don't know what's been going on recently, but the ratio in here is terrible. It's full of men these days. Not great. I'm glad, but bro, your time is ridiculous. Yeah. I just got booked with Tan today. He's going to be training with him. We're going to do shoulders today. Just a full on, nasty, high volume, excessive volume shoulders. Finally, on Hello, Andy's Sting. channel. Finally! Finally, he's on my channel. He started the channel. He made me start the channel. And like, way too, way too late to <laughs> feature in the channel. Shoulders day, people. But this time around, he will lead and I'll follow. Oh, the pressure's yeah, on there. He will okay. lead and I'll, and I'll follow. Okay. I'll just incorporate By some. You are not allowed to like hold back. Yeah, every time I train with him sometimes, he's just like, he's polite. <laughs> like I'm like really struggling. He's like, oh, I'll just do the same weight as you so I don't make you look bad. You know, it's good actually we're starting on rear delts because in all honesty, that is like the weakest part of my shoulder. Everyone neglects rear delts and shoulder state. Yeah, they're popping, popping out. Look at the state of that, that's a full on shell. Yes, sir. We did about four sets on the dumbbells, <laughs> now we're going to do probably another four sets on the rear delt flying machine. In how he says lean, three, six to five days is insane. How just lean and turn also. <laughs> <laughs> That's too much. So he's back on the mirror. This gym by far has the best light. <laughs> There's me, just holding 120. <laughs> Andrew's there with four. Where is it? I'm not gonna go that slow next time. <laughs> Jesus, that was too slow. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Testing the old shoulder mobility, that one. We're trying to stay in shape. This is the heavyweight department. I don't really come to this section of the gym very often. Too much trap, way too much trap. Channel. Make sure you go check out Andrew's YouTube channel. 
that's absolutely kicking off at the moment. You do two videos a week? Average. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Average. Yeah, boy. Gotta go eat, eat time. No, I'm not getting time, bro. I'm black. Hell no. <laughs> you can't find a black man getting time. No, we're timed already. It's natural. So, finish up the session. That was. There's a lot of volume on shoulders, I wouldn't normally do that. But obviously when I'm training with Andrew, usual protocols don't apply. What's it guy is by the way, gentle giant, humble giant, top guy. Now, I'm just nibbling on a little bowl of chia pudding which I made earlier on. Ingredients, vanilla milk, chia seeds, in the fridge. Bam! It's all right. Now, not a huge amount to do because it's absolutely boiling outside and I actually want to feel cold for a change because of that I'm constantly sweating so I think, I think I'm gonna go skiing. That's right, I'm actually gonna go skiing. There's a place here in the Mall of the Emirates, never been before, so uh, I'm gonna go check it out. I usually go skiing every single year because of the whole COVID thing. I haven't skied for like two years now, so it'd be nice to get back on the skis and just wiggle my hips and go down the mountain. So let's go. Oh yeah, here we are. So I've got my sexy trousers, my salopettes. Also got a nice jacket as well. Got my ski boots, pretty much ready to rock apparently. Minus four degrees in there, so that is a difference of 40 degrees Celsius. Very much welcome. Haven't seen that for a while. Ah, so we're at the top of the mountain, aka slope. I'm with Vanessa, it's the first time she's ever skied before. So uh, I'm gonna be the teacher today and hopefully there's not gonna be any injuries. How are you feeling? So afraid, uh, like I'm feeling terrible. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's no, great. actually it's been successful because I'm like managing to give myself a snap. Yeah, and like so far she's already lost one glove and she only picked up one pole because she thought you only needed one pole. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever done any kind of indoor skiing. It's pretty weird. I'm usually used to like seeing loads of mountain tops, but instead this is my view. Definitely shouldn't have brought her up to the top. That probably wasn't the best idea. So she's going to go halfway and go on an easier slope for her to learn off. I remember when I first started skiing, I definitely spent the majority of the time on my ass. First time I went was nine years old when I was in Scotland of all places. Decent powder light. I can't believe this for the first time in like a very long time. My hands are actually cold. Like I actually need to put my gloves on. Ski straight. There's so many little things you can do. There's like a toboggan run over there. Pretty sure there's a penguin park over there, a snow cinema. It's a very non-environmentally friendly entertainment center. I think we're gonna steal another pole because learning with one pole is not good. Another pole, I think there's a pole there. Sorry if this belongs to someone. <laughs> so remember, whenever you go too fast, pizza slice. If you're going too fast, pizza slice. Going too fast, pizza slice. Then this split. Remember, point, point. That was good. No fault. You ready for the black one now? The black run. Who wants to see me do a grind? In fact, who wants to see me do a 360 into a backflip? Anyone want to see that? Well, you're not going to see it because I'm at the age where doing that stuff doesn't appeal to me anymore. Ah, when I was in my early 20s, I liked doing things like that, but not anymore. Health is wealth and I can't be injuring myself. The snow, by the way, is quite decent. A little bit powdery, not too icy, which is always pleasurable on the old skis. Pretty empty slopes, which is always good. Never really like it when the slopes are too busy. Always a pain in the ass. Oh, Obviously there's no food in the fridge, so I'm currently living off the takeaways. But these guys are literally packing up all of my stuff, like everything. Last year I tried to leave Dubai with everything in two 
suitcases, which is just not happening this time around. So this company called Easy Truck, they've packed it all up, taken it away, keeping it in storage when I come back. So pretty ideal, really. Like 10 guys came up and they got it all sorted in 15 minutes. Also, I'm not taking the map with the iMac. It was a foolish mistake. Actually, it wasn't a foolish mistake. Like, it survived one journey to Ibiza, but when I brought it back, it got absolutely destroyed and cracked. As much as I like to do my work on an iMac, I can't be bothered taking it with me. Wherever I go this summer, it's going to be a literal pain in the ass, so uh, laptop life it is. What is that? Oh god, that breakfast burrito. They put egg in it, avocado, some mm. spicy little vegetables. It's so good, so consistently good. The um, F-Type, the car, just say goodbye to that now. Very emotional. Anyway, so the car's going to be looked after. We're going to clean it, we might do a little, few little moderations to it, but uh, I'm going to discuss that with them later. So, no car for me. I was going to take it to Europe, but it was going to work out to be £8,000 just to ship it there and back. And it would take three weeks there, three weeks back, which is quite a lot of money. And secondly, it is the least practical car ever. I'm going around with two suitcases. I can't, can barely fit one suitcase in the passenger seat. She? See. So, uh, yeah, the car's going to stay here. So I'm pretty much literally leaving two suitcases. I'm surprised how smoothly it's gone, actually. It's not too bad. October, but uh, I was speaking to them and I was like, okay, so how much is it going to cost for me to come back and do the same eight month contract? And they said, oh, it's going to be a little bit more expensive this time around because of the expo. I was anticipating more people coming. I was like, all right, fair enough. So, how much? It is literally double the price. The rent is double the price. Honestly, I, I worked it out, I think it's like £13,000 a month, which is an absolute rip off. Well, I mean, if you were splitting it three ways, it's maybe not as much of a rip off, but me, living by myself with three bedrooms and a maid's room is simply not necessary. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be going to a different spot. Don't know exactly where yet, but I only need two bedrooms. Um, I like to live by myself. I want to continue living by myself. So uh, yeah, I'll find, I'll find somewhere. But this is a view. This is a view and a half, which I will miss. However, look at this. I don't know if you guys saw this last time I pointed my camera down there. There was nothing there. And now it's like four stories high. And I swear down, maybe like six months, maybe a year's time, that's gonna go all the way up here. I've already looked online, see what the hell they're building. It's like another sort of hotel, service apartments, 34 stories high, which is pretty much the same height as this. It's gonna completely kill the whole view. So honestly, do I wanna be here when this view is not there? No, I don't. So uh, yeah, it's just the way the game goes, especially in Dubai. You got no guarantee that your view is gonna stay the same. You know, in the future, they might just decide to build a big whopper in front of your apartment building or villa, and then, yeah, what an absolute waste of money. So, that's that. I uh, just gonna chill this evening, finish packing my things, say goodbye to a few friends, and then I'll be leaving very early tomorrow, six in the morning. We'll be off. Oh, and we made it. We are in the airport, Barcelona airport. We're halfway there. The trip is not complete yet, but at least I'm in Spain. That's a positive. I was a little bit unsure whether or not I'd get in with my UK passport. They've been a little bit strict with letting people into Spain at the moment, but I made it. Not only did I need a negative COVID test, but I needed a Spanish document saying that I was allowed to be here and a QR code amongst other things, but I'm here. So now I'm about to get a flight to my final destination, or at least it will be for the next two weeks before I go somewhere else. Hopefully I'm gonna move about a little bit more this summer. I know last summer I stayed in one place, but it really just depends on what the situation's like and how easy it is to travel. Uh, because a year on, it's still an absolute mess. It's not ideal, so I just can't really plan anything this summer. But it's still gonna be fun. I'm gonna make it happen either way. 
summertime is always time for fun. In Dubai, I've got my head down, I'm focused, I'm kind of more work focused, but in the summer, I definitely like to enjoy myself a little bit more and socialize. So that is the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram so you can see exactly what I'm up to right at this point in time, because I'll already be at my destination, I'll no doubt already be having some fun. So follow me on Instagram. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video.